Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is September 14th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to provide for you an update on Hurricane Florence, which is now a minimal hurricane at 175 mile per hour maximum sustained winds and which made landfall earlier this morning near Wilmington, North Carolina. The storm itself is tracking to the west with a bit of a jog to the southwest at around five to six miles per hour. And over the next two to four days is going to rain out over the Carolinas, get picked up in a kind of uh, like a button hook pattern pulled into the Ohio River Valley and over Pennsylvania. And this motion is likely to result in heavy rainfall fall for sections of the U.S. East over the next three to five days. Focusing in on the infrared satellite shot, we can see Florence circling over the Wilmington area of extreme southeastern North Carolina with heavy bands spiraling in through South Carolina and Virginia. And if you're anywhere from South Carolina through Pennsylvania and you see cloudy skies right now, a bit of a breeze, you're likely under the influence of Florence. So, so the effects of Florence are far ranging, but the most severe impacts right now are focused on the region of Northeastern South Carolina and Southern and Southeastern North Carolina. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the projected path for Florence according to the National Hurricane Center, showing the loop pattern that I described. And it's worth noting that, that Florence doesn't completely get out of the picture according to this forecast until Wednesday. So we're looking at a multiple day event and with heavy rains in the Carolinas persisting through at least Sunday. So the main story for Florence right now is one that is steadily shifting from storm surge to heavy rains. I'm going to go ahead and show you a satellite picture. I'm sorry, a uh, National Weather Service radar shot of the rains that are currently being dumped over the Carolinas. And it's worth noting that rains in association with Florence in some locations have now likely exceeded 20 inches with the potential for 40 inches to fall in total, 40 inches or more to fall in total. It's worth noting that the record rainfall for a hurricane along the US East Coast is 28 inches. And it looks like Florence is likely to exceed that amount. We're already starting to approach that amount at this time. And this, according to precipitation measures provided by the National Weather Service, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the region of the southeast coast for Florence. And let's see, I'm going to look at seven day precipitation should give us some more resolved uh, higher totals. So as you can see, according to the National Weather Service, we have spots here along the coastal section of the Carolinas, which have already received 20 inches of rainfall over the past seven days, much of this in association with Florence. So we are seeing rainfall totals with Florence climb into near record levels and it's likely, unfortunately, that record rainfall amounts will be broken. Now, this does represent a very, very serious inland flood threat and, and near coastal flood threat, particularly along the waterways dumping into the sounds. These waterways already backed up due to storm surge flooding now are likely to get a second pulse of, of water over the coming days as a result of river flooding due to the very heavy rainfall that Florence is likely to dump. So just to sum up, 
Florence is still a category one hurricane over land is likely to continue to rain out over the next couple of days. And it appears likely that record rainfall totals for sections of the U.S. East Coast in a landfalling hurricane are likely to be broken. It's worth noting that these effects, this heavy rainfall and the persistence of Florence, as well as the intensity of Florence at landfall have been influenced by human caused climate change. Late yesterday, I noted a recent study by model researchers noting that the rainfall potential alone of Florence had been increased by 50% due to human caused climate change. In addition, the longer high intensity of Florence had been increased by human caused, caused climate change according to the study. As, and, and there were a number of impacts on the path of Florence according to this model study. Now, this is just one climate change model study identifying fingerprints of human caused climate change on Florence. And it's likely that we're gonna get a number of attribution studies for this storm because this storm is likely to produce record impacts in a number of variables, particularly as, as it relates to rainfall. And in some regions, likely record storm surge flooding as well. So a very extreme event that has been enhanced by human caused climate change and in which we are getting a higher degree of scientific evidence and scientific certainty that human caused climate change has greatly spiked hazards related to human caused climate change and extreme events such as this hurricane that is now impacting the US East Coast and causing extreme risk of damage and loss of life primarily due to flooding. So just to be very clear, if you're in North Carolina right now, the you need to pay attention to emergency officials and listen to what they say. Now is not the time to start heading back toward the coast or trying to travel in sections of North Carolina and South Carolina as a very, very ex extreme rainfall event is, is now starting to ramp up. And this event is likely to continue over the next two days. So, so this event is far from over. Just because the winds have come down, the danger from this storm has not passed. And in some respects, it, it's really just starting to ramp up. And in particular, with regards to rainfall. And I, I just urge you to remember Harvey, in, in some respects, this, this storm could mimic the impacts that we saw from Harvey. And, and the damages from Har Harvey primarily came due to heavy, very heavy, very extreme rainfall. So, so we're entering that phase of the storm now. And I just want to be very clear that this, this storm is, is not like the storms of the past. This storm has a, a good degree of kick coming from human caused climate change and warmer than normal ocean temperatures, sea surface temperatures, and elevated atmospheric moisture levels due to increased rates of evaporation as the Earth's surface warms. So thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.